Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So Grand Rising, good day. I hope you've had a beautiful, beautiful night. So let's dive in and see what's going on for today. What Spirit has to say for us, get some clarity, some perspective, and maybe some help on our journey. This could be for you, this could be for somebody around you, this could be for somebody playing in your energy. So always use your discernment when watching my readings, okay? This is timeless, general, and collective, so it may or may not resonate from start to finish. If you want a more personal reading, I'll put my information at the bottom and you can inbox me um, through email and we can discuss how I do my readings. I love you guys. Thank you all for the likes, the comments, the support, and that you show me and each other. Okay, so spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light, I'm calling you in and I'm asking for a clear, precise channel message for my beautiful collective. What are we tapping into? Anything other than the highest white light? I'm closing that door. And then this card comes out. It's the call, uh, the calm. So it wants to come out. I'm just going to read it right off the bat. The calm. I breathe, live and grow, uh, live and grow the light within me. I do one thing at a time and focus on the present moment. I cast off my doubts, all fears, dissipate, dissipate and I find peace in my being. Okay, so that's the affirmation for today. It's just about finding calm. So this is basically the overall energy that we're tapping into. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. But the calm. Somebody needs to calm down. Look, there's another one here. And it says the divine fruit. Okay, so somebody needs to calm down. You are the divine fruit. It says, as I work to improve my free and free myself, I strengthen my foundation. My intentions, my... Uh, it, and intellect is light, my heart is warm, and my soul is strong. I am nurtured by the divine sun. The fruit I bear reflects my inner light. So remember that. What you put out, you do get back. Maybe not from the person you're giving, but definitely do get back. So don't let people change your heart, guys. Remember that, okay? Because you are the divine fruit. You have everything you possibly could need. We may not have everything we want, but we have everything we need. And this is why we need to calm the fuck down. Not be so anxious. Okay, it's time to stay in the moment. The moment is where everything comes in. You have strength, foundation, intelligence. Just have to be light, of, light as a feather, okay? Spirit so guides, what's going on here? Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. Now, this could be an in and out energy that has a lot of passion for you, or this could be you going towards a new passionate beginning, okay? A lot of uh, spontaneity. You're going to have to think before you do things. This is at the bottom of the deck, okay? This is why it's saying you have to calm down. It's the Knight of, it's the King of Cups. Okay, so somebody could have a lot of love for you. But this King of Cups sits on, I'm using the, um, the Van Gogh tarot. So this King of Cups could be sitting on a concrete throne, really a hard ass and doesn't want to express his feelings, but has a lot of passion. So what they do is they don't think logically. What they do is they go very passionately towards the things that they feel in the moment, but they don't think long term. They don't think longevity. This is why you have to calm down. There's divine fruit within you. So you have to be careful on what you're choosing. Because if you go passionately, you might pick the wrong fruit, right? And then, you know, we are the company we keep. So you put yourself in a rotten basket of fruit. Believe me, that, that beautiful, fresh fruit is going to get rotten really fast. Because, you know, we are the company we keep. So what do we have here? We have the lovers. All right? A choice. Ten of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse is like no emotional fulfillment, no happiness, no happily ever after. A lot of emotional instability, a lot of uh, karmic, karmic, very, very fucking karmic. And then you have the Three of Wands. So, the Lovers and the Three of Wands. So, you're definitely waiting on something. Okay, it's like you're... In this... Van Gogh, you see them, well, I don't know if you can really see it, but they're dancing together. 
it's like you're incorporating this dance of light and whatever you're waiting on, whatever you sacrificed for, whatever you put the, the work in, it's coming in. Remember that the divine fruit, okay? Like the, the last thing to bear on a fruit tree is the fruit. So you have to remember that. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep going. Because whatever you're waiting for is coming in. What is this? It's the Knight of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune in the Somebody wants to come in with some kind of information, fast-moving information about some kind of Wheel of Fortune in verse. Like they lost out an opportunity, like um, a lot of karma. You know how I said that Ten of Cups, right? Right here in my hand in verse, it's karma. Somebody's getting major karma. And you're getting some kind of information about this. You might have been waiting for this. Now, who the hell wants to wait for karma? Like, to hear about somebody else's karma? Like, people need to mind your motherfucking business. <laughs> but you have a lover here. So it's kindred soul. Nine of wands. Yeah, somebody is burdened. So it's the wounded warrior. Been broken, beaten, in despair. Been through the ringer a couple times, but you still stand up for what you believe in. You still go towards what you want. Even if you fail, fuck, we all fail sometimes. Sometimes some of us, you know, we really don't get handouts. We really don't get no help. So what we have is really what we have. And and that's that wheel of fortune in reverse. Somebody feels like the karma of a, the two of pentacles juggling the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, juggling some kind of family, some kind of emotional manipulation. There's nothing good here. Somebody feels that this family has blocked them from something. And they want to come in with some kind of information very fast. They've been waiting for some kind of communication or some kind of information to come in because they've been doing some work to get this lovers, this equilibrium. But they have to bring balance to this juggling with this family. They have to cut something off. They have to speak the truth, okay? That Knight of Swords. Somebody's coming in really fast with some information about this family or about this group or about this emotional manipulation that has brought them the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Has brought you the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Always put yourself where you belong, guys. That Nine of Wands, you're still fighting. You're just a little broken, that's all. But we're all a little broken. That's why you can't judge nobody. Queen of Swords. You stood up for yourself. You spoke your truth with this Queen of Swords. And anybody who was talking shit to you, these bird bitches, not the, I like to call them ducks, you have shut the fucking mouth. Look, and somebody's coming in with the truth. Look, the man has silenced somebody with the truth, and you, as the female, have quieted somebody. Now somebody can't speak on your name anymore with ill intent because somebody has spoken the truth about this family or to this family or something or to this group. It could be a group, guys. Remember that, okay? But you spoke your truth. You stood in your power and you got somebody like, they're, they're muzzled. They really can't say shit because there was too much in the dark and whatever comes in. Whatever's done in the dark gets seen. This is why I tell people, you know there's eyes everywhere. Eventually you get caught up, and there's a lot of karma on my board right now. And it's not good karma. It's not good karma. Look, see the world in reverse. It, there's a lot of karma on my board. As I say it, it comes out. Now, the world in reverse is talking about an incompletion, stagnation. This is why somebody feels like the world, the wheel is in reverse, the world is in reverse, and they want to fight for something. But they're juggling. They were juggling this lovers, this partnership, this friendship, this um, kindred soul. Take it as it resonates, or this job even, you know, but... This Ten of Cups has really gotten in the way of somebody. Somebody is very, very sad that you have shut them up. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody is not single, self-sufficient, independent. Somebody is... Mm, not somebody. It's the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, the Ten of Cups. It's the. It, it's this family. This is why you have to speak on somebody's name and speak the truth. Because they would, would have kept talking on this Queen of Swords name. So somebody spoke up. Spoke the truth on this family and said, listen, you're the one who's not independent. You're the one who can't take care of themselves. Well, that's why you are hating. 
and now this queen of swords is safe like nobody can talk shit on her name like seriously and this is why somebody feels like there's an incompletion somebody wants to complete something but they can't not until they're single and self-sufficient it's the two of wands somebody made a wrong choice with this family this group or this group made the wrong choice when they were told to to lie on your name or to talk shit or to slander you or to bully you or to attack you, take it as it resonates. <laughs> but the moon is in reverse. Whatever is hidden in the dark, it's gonna fucking get. See it and someone is um going to that karma that they thought they weren't gonna get for being a fucking bully, page of wands in reverse, like I said, the bully. People think because they have a, a loud voice. Bitch, who cares if you have a loud voice? Don't mean nothing. People think because they're <laughs> don't mean shit. <laughs> the loudest one in the room is usually the fucking one that's gonna drop fastest. <laughs> Knight of Wands. There's that knight in shining armor guy. I mean that passionate Oh, it's ten of pentacles. Wow. Yes, somebody's coming towards you with a lot of passion after getting out of a bully tyrant kind of energy, getting away from this family who are bullies and tyrants. They know that there was a wrong choice here to be a bully, to listen to these people because it has put them in a fucking situation that they are upset about. It's the juggling, guys. You want to juggle lovers or a kindred soul, then you end up losing your fortune the world's in reverse. You can have all the things you want, but you're never going to be happy because of your choice. This is what somebody's realizing going towards a new passion at the beginning. Because all the things that were in the dark are coming to light. So there's no more illusions. Ten of Pentacles. Last card on the spread. Somebody sees you as legacy. You have a legacy here. Now, this is why things had to be straightened out. Worlds had to be paved, cleared out, you know. So, we're the trailblazer, right? First, we're going through the fucking forest with a machete, hacking through shit, you know. And then we're bulldozing. And then we're, you know, laying pavement. We're doing some crazy, crazy development here. This is all metaphorically, please. We're, we're you know, I do not condole this development of our nature of our, our our earth because it's just too much we are already developed but i'm talking about development of self okay it's a perfect analogy for this so ten of pentacles now if somebody has a clear role to get to because they did the work they knew what it took maybe perhaps you have cleared the road for this person many times now it was their turn to clear the road. Now this could be friends, family, acquaintances, a, a job, a boss, a partner. Take it as it resonates, okay? But the Ten of Pentacles is a happily ever after. And this family has done everything, and I mean everything, under the sun to be a bully. To make sure that you weren't single, self-sufficient, independent. Maybe somebody was very superficial, so they cared about money. And so a lot of people have tried to do anything to keep that money from staying in your pocket or from you having it. But you don't live your life around money, guys. And this is why you uh, have a beautiful life. The Five of Wands. Yeah, like I said, these people wanted to drag you into the conflicts. They're probably still trying to do this to make sure that this kind of this legacy doesn't lie with you. But you are a star seed, light worker, indigo child. You were born with this or you have developed this through letting go of the past issues and the childhood traumas. Five of Swords. And this is why these motherfuckers are defeated. <laughs> Five of Wands in the upright. They can fight all they want. They could try to do whatever they want, but at the end of the day, they're defeated with the Five of Swords in reverse. Nothing's there, nothing's there. It's just this defeat. <laughs> because you're still getting this Ten of Pentacles, this, you know, walking off in the sunset because you're the fucking high priestess in the upright. You see. You know, you understand that there's a bigger picture, a bigger life, that there's a lot of deceptions. This is what's looking right in my face. But this deceptions has sparked your gifts, 
your creativity. So remember, rejection is protection. We cannot control anybody. We cannot save anybody. We can only control us and save us. And believe me, our atmosphere and our surroundings do change just because our mindset changes. So it is possible to get out of the illusions and the deceptions and the temptations, the distractions. Because this is all that is, that five of wands. It's just trying to distract you, distract you, distract you from your legacy. But they're defeated because somebody is intuitive, sees the bigger picture. Somebody feels very left out from investing in you. Or they feel left out from you investing in them. Or they left you out from investing from the money, okay? Because the five of pentacles, which is seven of pentacles. But you reap your soul, guys. Somebody feels bad for not investing in you or not giving you opportunities because you work with source. You work with the universe. You may not have everything, but they give you what you need when you need it. Somebody is very out in the cold from you, feels very, very broken, and sees you harvesting your ancestral legacy. And if you don't see this financial gain yet, it's coming. So hold on tight, okay? It's time to celebrate our gifts. It's time to celebrate our accomplishments. It's time to tap ourselves on the back for all the things that we have done. And all the people we've helped along the way, even if they didn't help us back, they remember us because our energy is unforgettable. You are a gift. And people want to be blinded to that, want you to feel like you're not good enough because you don't get those opportunities or you don't get equilibrium or people don't put themselves out there to treat you nice. It doesn't matter because we're calm. And we are the fucking divine fruit. We don't need nobody else's fruit. We eat from our own garden. We eat from our own tree. And that's why people want to stop you because they're not nine of pentacles in reverse. They don't know how to take care of themselves. Not emotionally, not physically, not financially. They need people. And if they were by themselves, they would break. That's why people choose to drink and use. It's facts, guys. The fool. Time to take a new leap of faith, and sometimes Sungai Dizuga creator is the one who pushes us off the fucking ledge because we just won't listen to our intuition. And then when we get pushed, it's a lot harder and it's a lot more because we were naive, because we were arrogant, because we were egotistical and thought that we were, you know, unstoppable. We are. But not when you're sitting in that darker energy. It's time to take a new leap of faith so that you can get out of this poverty-like mindset or this lack mentality. We ain't lacking shit, guys. You need to remember that, okay? Heart of the deck is the seven of chalices. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking illusions that have been broken. Seven of cups in reverse. Somebody doesn't have any more options, and this is why they have to take that leap of faith. Go in a new direction. Put investments in themselves. Start investing in yourself, guys. We are the fucking best asset. The magician in reverse. But somebody's using dark energy work. Either to try to get you to come back or try to manipulate somebody's mind so they don't see the illusions for what it is and they stay in these deceptions and they don't tap into their own gifts. Go into this Ten of Pentacles, this legacy, and they'll forever stay in this... You take it as it resonates. You know if there's energies around you that just don't want no fucking good for you. There's somebody that is really causing distractions, temptations. Let's see who and what it is. <laughs> Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles. Let's see what's going on here, okay? Because you do have good fortunes coming in. But somebody's choice to juggle lovers or lover or whatever, let's put them in this wheel of fortune. There's a lot of fucking karma, 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 bad karma. Well, you're sitting here getting dark because these people are being defeated. 
because you use your intuition. So let's get some more information. There's that Knight of Wands. Oh no, it's the Ten of Wands. Somebody is very, very burdened because no matter what, you still got that Ten of Pentacles. And even if you're left out, you have like nothing here on the 3D. You still got the Ten of Pentacles. You still got the motherfucking legacy. Be good wherever the fuck you go. Justice. That's justice. That's balancing out the scales. You're both light and dark. It's about equilibrium, guys. And the justice of the 5D, justice of the 3D are a bit different only because society says. So, Eight of Pentacles, you have done the work. You have chosen to do the work and that's why you have balance. You tapped into the spiritual world and you are a water protector. You're fearless. You go towards what you need to go towards. And there's a lot of bondage, a lot of baggage that somebody feels because you're growing. And you did the work. You were able to destruct this mantle and, you know, use alchemy to transmute that darkness into light and manifest your own path. Congratulations. You did. You cleared the way for the right people to come in. Spirit guys, show me what's going on here. So yes, past, present, future, somebody is feeling a lot of lack. Magician in the upright, but you have done the work. You are the magician in the upright. The magician in the upright will always be the magician in reverse because the magician in reverse has some kind of bondage. There's some, you know, it's like, um, I want this, so I'm going to offer you this kind of thing when it comes to the dark. I know I was there for a long time, okay? But with this, it's more... I'm going to give you expecting nothing in return. The universe is going to give it back to me. Equilibrium. That's it. That's how it goes. This is why we celebrate being us. We celebrate the bigger picture. We celebrate and we manifest the greater whole for the greater whole. We understand that we can take care of ourselves because we have gotten where we are by this. Now we manifest and help other people to see the light to help them get out of this to do the work so that they can clear the path for the right people to come into their life as well bring justice to situations start, start speaking the truth to these very emotionally unstable manipulators and narcissistic families or groups because these people are feeling burdened because you are the truth five of pentacles like i said they're feeling left out from you because your boundaries are so high with that queen of swords People come towards you and they talk some shit, you will fucking put a muzzle on them real quick. And it's no disrespect or nothing, and this is why people get to, um, in, insecure and intimidated because you're so sweet and kind and cuddly and you look so innocent. Not so fucking innocent, guys. Somebody's healing <laughs> from this feeling left out in the cold. They have to go through a transformation in order to come in this path. And speak the truth, Knight of Swords. Somebody is coming in with a lot of information to manifest with you or man to manifest a, a flexibility with you. Or There was a battle here. I'm not going to lie. There was a lot of hastiness. And this is why you had to eliminate yourself and ground yourself and armor yourself up. So that this way, you knew you were protected. You knew you were guarded. And you knew you had the good luck and wealth on your side. You It came with that on authenticity and knowing self with that magician in the upright and the jade spirit guide show me so you chose to heal from this poverty like mindset and start a new beginning speaking your truth being armored up knowing that when you go into these situations you're already protected because you did the work before see that's what people don't fucking underestimate us fucking spiritualists we do the work before we go into these situations. We protect ourselves. Always. Always. <laughs> and that's why we always end up hitting a new path. We always end up figuring it out. We always end up finding a solution. We use our fucking brain. See, free will and, um, what is it? Um, common sense. It's not, it, it doesn't grow in everybody's garden. We have to reprogram our minds. <laughs> from all the shit that was taught to us because half the things that were taught to us was to make sure that we were stayed dumb. And in in this um, matrix, guys, what's this slipper? Yeah, you have... Oh, check that out, okay? Look what came out. This emperor is really upset because he can't get to this empress until he clears a path. Because it's too unbalanced. They could be both in the upright, 
but there's something in the middle here that's blocking and it's that magician in reverse that narcissistic codependent covert narcissistic family okay it's that ten of cups in reverse you put it where it is, but somebody is definitely self-sufficient, independent, a leader of their own life, emperor, bossy, or an independent contractor. It could be male, female, switch the roles. It doesn't matter. We hold both masculine. Could be you who is very balanced, but can't go towards something because of this magic. Always put yourself where you belong. I read for a lot of people here on YouTube, okay? But what I'm seeing is that this emperor does see you as this gift is coming towards you in this new beginning because they felt left out they're manifesting you because he feels or she feels very burdened and wants to bring in this justice after this family has done this very narcissistic stuff somebody has done the work or somebody wants to work with you or sees you have done the work and everything you touch turns to gold but there's no action here somebody's like sh not shielding themselves from harm like i said you have protection you protect yourself but somebody doesn't know how to and that's that emperor and that's why they need an empress because you know in the game of chess right the empress the queen is the one who protects the king somebody didn't realize that how fucking really powerful you were and that you were protecting this person when you were with them but when you when this person chose to do whatever they did and choose this very narcissistic family they end up feeling left out from this ten of pentacles this family and a real solid foundation and now they're gonna have to really clear that path take charge now this could be somebody you have no clue about somebody who wants to stand in their authenticity could be somebody watching you spying on you but they're not taking any action and this is what's unsettling because the next chapter is just right there for them but they have to be more positive about the situation about this divine feminine this wisdom somebody needs to tap in and like hug themselves heal from this this past shit it's time to nurture and go in nature know yourself detoxify and keep fucking going because there's wisdom here in that fear there's wisdom and this emperor understands that the empress is the divine partner that's the lover but they just chose to juggle because of this magic <sighs> page of pentacles somebody's learning something new about how to manifest a new beginning it's about mental clarity guys somebody is really channeling now somebody could have adhd or some kind of disorder that's why they're really trying to understand how to change their mindset like it keeps going back into some excess and deception and they want to grow but they're absorbing too much energy around them that is negative and this is why they need to find mental clarity and get out of the eight of swords that's how they're going to be able to get out of this once they start learning a new way letting go so they stop absorbing this mindset from their friends or family or group or whatever this is and they open up that door to communication eight of swords let go of the mental enchantment no more prison of the mind this is what this empress is in no more prison of the mind no more trapped feelings even if somebody is not taking action, it doesn't matter. You've already learned about this emperor. You already know about this. This is their issues. Whether you know them or not, it's their issues, okay? You had your own issues that you dealt with. You went on this new beginning. You manifested a new life and detoxified. This person was probably like your drug. And so you had to pave a whole new way, a whole new life. And uh, now this person is just on a roadmap to get to your secret spot. Six of coins. They want to come give equilibrium, reciprocity. You have decided to go inwards and feed your inner child the love and respect that you never had. You are paying it forward and you're doing the right thing. 
and it's about kindness and faith and high vibrational energy remember what you put up you get back and you deserve nothing but the best because you are the queen of swords and the queen of swords put up the bound puts the boundaries up when it comes to these very low vibrational high priestess and reverse energies people don't use their intuition their wisdom fucking talents you don't have no fucking energy for this or these players this king of wands in reverse you ain't dealing with this you ain't dealing with these followers nope you have eliminated them and that's why they're feeling in the five of wands they can't fight no more mm -mm. nope they gotta find some peaceful self-resolution because they're a whole hot mess and you have cleaned up and healed from this fucking rock bottom energy this purgatory of the mind this abandonment, you really cut the cords, guys, and you have this protection. You must carry some kind of talesman with you or something that's grounding you. But you have nothing to fucking worry about because you have defeated those negative energies. Hmm? Congratulations, guys. You're out of the mental entrapment, no more purgatory. Well, I can't say nothing about nothing. Four cups, it's because of the self love, it's in reverse. I'm telling you, self-love gets you everything. You have detoxified, you purified yourself, and now you have clarity, and it all came with self-love. Congratulations. Now you're getting reciprocity because you paid it forward. Spirit, let's see what's going on with this yin yang oracle since the deception, temptation, and celebration of abundance is coming in. So, somebody did not want you to see how fucking abundant you were. Your gifts. They didn't want to, you to be celebrated. They didn't want somebody to see how fucking hot you were, how attractive you were. But, somebody's seeing it. See, like I said, it was a control tactic. Somebody's mother, girlfriend, friend, sister, brother, cousin, fuck, boyfriend, girlfriend. Uh, like, you see what I'm saying? Best friend, cousin, uncle, auntie. Doesn't matter. Somebody was trying to control a tactic in order for somebody to not, to stay in a family situation so they won't go towards money and real legacy because somebody wasn't able to build a legacy for themselves so inevitably they're going to be jealous because somebody else is going towards it and it wasn't them oh it's that happy haters that's why that's why i don't come on my board because it's the hermit the hermit guys the hermit wants to come out. You know why? This is not supposed to be in here, but you know why the hermit wants to come out? Is because you have went inwards. Somebody has went inwards and seen exactly what was going on with the situation. And seriously, that magician is being seen. Like really, really, really seen for who and what they really are. And it's causing a big tower in a lot of people's lives because you have chosen to make a new path. Now, I have cards in here that were supposed to go with that deck. So somebody may not be playing with a full deck. And this is why they're choosing to do this dark magic. Just keep that in consideration, guys, okay? Ooh, yeah, and that's why they're trying to control somebody's feelings. They're trying to play God in their life because they clearly aren't playing with a clear deck. And this is why you had to go inwards, listen, and, and feel, and know. All the answers lie within yourself. You just have to eliminate yourself. Get that mental clarity. And see why you were so closed off from this Five of Cups. It's the Five of Cups is in reverse. What is what I mean by they were playing with full deck? Uh, the Five of Cups is in reverse. There's a reason this is happening. You were guarded from this Two of Cups, this emotional stability, but now you see it. You're no longer dwelling on the third parties or interferences. You let it go. This guardedness, this restriction. You see why this happened? Because you went into hermit mode. Somebody went into hermit mode and seen why they were being controlled and being guarded and why they were feeling left out. But they are no longer dwelling on the past. The past is the past. There's nothing we can do about the past. But what we can do is change the future by what we do today. Spirit guide, show me what's going on here with the Indian Oracle deck. What do you want me to tell my beautiful collective? Look at the balance. It comes out justice again. Somebody's getting wisdom about why they were being guarded. Why they were being so cold hearted towards you. Why they allow these people to get into their head. Why you allow people to get into your head. 
somebody is being assisted by their spiritual guide you have been assisted to bring balance to the situation you are walking justice guys this is why you op openly communicate with everybody but people are spying on you because they don't they have communication problems and they're jealous because you have a divine partnership that you just can't they're choosing not to go towards because they're not getting themselves out of this third party interferences or codependencies yeah there's a lot of hard work that needs to get done in order for somebody to pave that way like i said you're developing a whole new world right and it started by you going into the bush and start chopping away so it was a lot of manual labor a lot of hard work but faith is here there's a detour divine intervention coming in and somebody's watching and spying you on you because you have healed your inner child and somebody else has and it all was with self-worth that's how you were able to raise your expectations raise the bar you know clarification you know your worth and you put tax on that bitch you stand on your shit kendall's down people got something to say well then they can say it don't mean nothing you fucking work but if you you better be able to bite if you're gonna bark at me somebody's triggered by you because you are so honest you are so authentic and you have so much self-worth because you healed that inner child you ain't got no demons and you don't give a fuck you're gonna say the truth you have no problem speaking the truth whether it makes you look bad or not and this is what people have tried to avoid and brought them in a stalemate is because they don't want to speak the truth they're hiding it and it's causing them a lot of karma there's an incompletion here, a lack of closure. Maybe with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. It's just talking about going in nature and being grounded with Gaia in order to really see what you need to eliminate. Your third eye will see. There's clarity here. You're gonna get some ins You're gonna get some insight once you really eliminate. And you'll see that the work can be done. You're getting dreams, okay, about how to alchemize the energy to transmute that darkness into light so you can pave the way metaphorically and allow your ancestor guides to come in to help you give you the guidance guys sometimes we need to ask for help you know it's not that we're weak it's just that sometimes we need a little spark we need to be renewed and sometimes if you know if you have a conversation with somebody of a high vibration it's just it's healing in on its own but if you have a conversation with somebody low vibrational then it's not so healing is it people don't seem to understand that and this is why they're limited somebody is fearful of what they chose to do of the energies that they put out this magician who isn't playing with a full deck is the one who's in this fearful energy because at the heart of the deck you're growing summertime is all well growth guys and you're fucking growing there's a lot of people growing you are that light in the dark tunnel and somebody feels very very fearful want to know why because you are on your life mission you're on your north node you're going towards your divine purpose you have a cosmic royal bloodline that needs to be activated in order to activate that you have to intuitively start clearing out the cycles start chopping away of all that negativity so that you can be that butterfly or moth there's no competition but then we can find solutions to the problems in this world and we're no longer jaded we can make heaven on earth and that's why a lot of people hate me because i live heaven on earth every motherfucking day and if people got a problem with that that's on them i took the leap of faith it's called freedom opportunity you know when you take that leap of faith when you just say you know i'm i'm spent i'm done like i don't know what the fuck i'm doing and you just give it to source you give it to god you give it to the creator you just everything does work out but you have to have patience you have to have determination you have to know who you are you have to accept who you are light dark good bad makeup no makeup sick happy like you have to be okay with that and that's a it's hard to accept ourselves because it's easier to drown and pretend like it you know because but all it's doing is making you sicker time to take the leap of no leap of faith Get the fuck out of the ego 
What the fuck? The ego. What's the ego gonna do? It can't get do shit. The ego's gonna put you in a, a grave fast. Believe me, I know. Vanity and pride. Time to get out of that, okay? Because look, it's time to nurture. Have a transcendence. Have a unity. What's this one? Embrace the fucking cycles, guys. We need that butterfly. It's about completion. Somebody doesn't didn't have completion within a relationship, a partnership, something. That that world is in reverse there. So now somebody wants to have a completion. Okay? And that's why they're saying you are the divine fruit. You are the empress or emperor. It's time to see who you are and calm yourself down because people are trying to make you act the fool. You need to breathe, live, and grow. The light is within you. Spirit, let's see. Four of Gabriels. Wow. Yeah, you have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Four of Wands. Time to celebrate, guys. Abundance, rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. Time to celebrate. Time to have that happily ever after. Maybe somebody wants to marry you. Maybe you're getting into a new relationship. But you definitely have spirit guides watching over this partnership. You could maybe have a child. Because there's a, a child in between, you know. And that's going to allow you to be more closer in some kind of way. Uh, I see a uh, indigo child, okay? And you have the Ten of Michaels, the Ten of Swords. Yes, yeah, somebody has really betrayed you. Rock bottom energy. A lot of abandonment issues. A solution, a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities of happiness are now following. Put the past behind you, okay? Whatever has happened, it's time to put the past behind you. It's about forgiveness, okay, with the Six of pent Pentacles. It's time to pay it forward. It's time to do the right thing and follow your higher path. And then we have the strength. You have the power. You have the strength to have this happily ever after, but you have to see the betrayals for what it is and eliminate it. Strength and grace, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. I don't make it up, guys. You have the power to conquer this inner demon, this inner lion, or you have the strength to conquer someone's lion within themselves. And you are going to change the world. Remember, a divine partnership like this, it's all about a bigger picture, right? Somebody's changing their life for you, or you're going to be able to change the world together. Okay, a sudden revolution that offers freedom, break free from procrastination, embrace the opportunity that change brings. <laughs> Time to uh, bring in this change. Ooh, because you got the two of Raphael, uh, the two of Ariels, it's just two pentacles. It's that juggling, guys, the procrastination. It's important to have balance, working multiple jobs and projects at once and making work fun. Somebody needs to find time management, find resources, find a new way to get what they want, which is this stability, this foundation. The Four of Wands is celebration and home. But this fucking betrayal, it really, really gave you a lot of strength to change your whole life, change somebody's life, change the whole world even. But all it needed, to, all you needed to do is change your perspective. And now somebody's coming in as the knight in shining armor. Whether you know this person or not, somebody's coming in. It says it's a better way. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. It's about authenticity, guys. It's about being fucking charismatic and changing the world. Knight of a Raphael's Knight of Cups. Romantic. Dramatic, poet, and introspective. Communicating romantic, a committed romantic relationship. Being swept off your feet. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Now, if you don't have this, you don't want this, keep it to yourself. Because the world's there. We need to end cycles, guys. It's a very happy ending. Coming full circle. Spiritual growth and insight. Five of Cups. It says, everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. 
I don't make it up, guys. Let's get some juice. Spare guides. Let's get some juice. What's the overall energy? Somebody sees somebody's not playing with a full deck anymore. Like, for real. Sure, you don't burst. This is why they're stuck. There's a lot of aggravation. That's the control issues, guys. And you have the strength to overcome this. So, this is why somebody can't come towards you. Because of their control issues or because they're being controlled by somebody. Take it as it resonates. They're, um... Overcoming their fear, though, or you have overcome your fear and focused on what you really wanted, which is a lover. But this lover could have been playing mind games, and this is why they can't come towards you, because they were juggling you. Maybe they found, got married. I don't know, guys. You know how this works. You're an earth angel. You're the GOAT. You're the greatest of all times, and that's my collective energy, guys. You guys are the shit. And this is why somebody can't come towards you until they clear off that path. I'm telling you, Capricorn. Somebody's in a, a codependent relationship, partnership, friends, family, job, whatever it is. Somebody is very obsessed with you too. You could be that Capricorn. They can be a Capricorn. But whatever is meant to be is going to be. And this is why it says, chill, calm down. Nothing is for nothing and you can't rush anything. What's meant to be is going to be. Now somebody tried to fire you or put you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was only because of their emotional manipulation and because they wanted to have what you had or what you were. But that does it doesn't go that way. It doesn't go that way. The emperor and empress are either single or with an emperor. That's it. Like an empress is with an emperor or an emperor is with an empress. Or they're single. That is what it is, guys. And see? Whoever tried to get you fired or put out is a motherfucking cheater. And you're finding out about this. They're a cheater. That's why they wanted to play mind games with different lovers. Even if they knew that what they had was gold, they still jeopardized it. They still sacrificed it. And trust is everything. Now you broke your trust. This is why somebody needs to really clear out shit and start talking the truth. Could be a Leo. You could be a Leo. But the temperance angel is here. You balance this shit out with these darker energies that were trying to slander or say some shit. Look, they're clearly doing too much. And this is why ancestor spirit guides said, you're doing too much to an earth angel. She ain't doing no shit to you. He ain't doing no shit to you. And you're putting all this magic to stop blessings from coming in. Well, we're just going to bless her even more or him even more because you're doing fucking too much. And somebody is change. Somebody deserves a higher level commitment. Somebody deserves a better life. Somebody is a public speaker. Ancestors are pissed right now. And this is why somebody can't come forward. Because they're juggling these fucking karmics. You're juggling karmics. Or these karmics are trying to juggle you. Or these karmics are just fucking got no marbles. They're juggling their fucking marbles. You need to move on from these karmics. Because they're doing too much. Because of your status. Because of who you are. And I just say that because of who you are, because you're grounded, mind, body, and soul. You're a fucking empress, so everything you touch turns gold. You're beautiful, even on your worst days. Nobody ain't got shit on you. That's why you chose to move the fuck away. Heart of the deck, they set you up. These people have tried to set you up every which way, and you have still changed your whole life around. Even if people try to put you in the rock bottom energy, this and this and that, you're still the empress high priestess. God hired you. Who's going to fire you? You got that fucking confidence. You don't care what people are doing. It's not your business. But if they ask, you're going to honestly tell your opinion. People should not ask. Unless they want the truth. That's it. That's all. If they can't handle the truth, well then. That's not my problem. You got a divine potty card. That's not your problem either. Ancestors are pissed off right now because whoever tried to block this, they had a lack of self-control. They were powerless, really, because your inner strength has... Psh, psh, psh. They barked up the wrong tree and, yo, know, they got fucking beat as Peppermint would fucking... What? Uh, Peppermint Tarot said that this morning on one of her, her lives. <laughs> You're safe, okay? And you are definitely, like... You know, you're guarded. You have that protection around you. You do the work before you even get into these situations. This is why you get the upgrade. This is why people are pressed. Because you're a monster. You're a machine. 
you're the goat you're the fighter you're the soldier you've been through it this is why you have confidence 11 11 you have this twin flame soul partnership soul ascension unity within yourself so you're both masculine and feminine but for some reason there's something that's blocking you and this is magical fucking bullshit in the background somebody tried to do something on the new moon to your twin flame or this twin flame trying to manifest you on the new moon they're all up in their head double headspace so there could be two people up in their head because of what they tried to do to you look they're heartbroken because it's not working because you're a high priestess you're too fucking strong and you're getting the victory why because love conquers all and you can't do fucking spell work on somebody who doesn't do spell work stupid and who's protected by a source stupid that's for the karmics if they're watching victory you get victory my beautiful soul tribe because you know love conquers all together we can together we can tame our inner demons with love and you're getting a message in because your fucking heart is so beautiful you are so beautiful and you deserve to live a soft life as you are who you are these karmics are pressed because you broke up you broke up with people who are not confident with themselves not using their intuition and no no not doing it and that's the tower of truth you ain't dealing with this um, an empress is only with an emperor an emperor is only with an empress it is what it is anything else is just toxic the sister you maybe maybe a friend zone somebody i don't know maybe somebody sees you as a sister and this is why they don't want to come towards you or maybe they played you for your sister oh take it as it resonates but you're a fucking light worker and you have planted those seeds and watched it grow and somebody could be this person you called your sister oh, from this family this ten of cups or it, like somebody you call your sister so it could be a cousin or something who's doing this magic i don't know bitch is fucking insane and not fucking running with a full deck they acted in the moment and they're thinking now like holy fuck i'm getting karma because the first card that came out was the divine bodyguard bitch like are you fucking serious upgrade somebody wants to upgrade you but they're frozen they're on free somebody needs to pay attention to signs and synchronicities and the people they're hanging out with because something's happening on this full moon coming up and you are ascending master you got that bodyguard and that twin flame energy comes out twice guys so this full moon energy you're gonna see a brother for really what they are and how obsessed they are that they're not really your brother that they're not really your friend that this sister is not really your friend and they're trying to manifest to make sure that your soulmate is over sexual with them or with other people instead of showing you respect that's why you ain't having no sex somebody isn't having any sex somebody needs to be closed off from having sex because somebody is trying to manipulate them distract them with this sex and remember we are the company we keep right and that energy is going to stick to you somebody needs to get grounded go into nature and see who the fuck this is that's obsessed with them not their friend whatever this is they're playing games with their gifts you need to eliminate them somebody's fucking around like major and that's why they're getting major karma the ancestors are done you're not playing fucking games with this person anymore they miss your food because you're wifey and you are their home whoever this is they're trying to manifest you and somebody's trying to manifest it not to happen because they're fucking drama starter let's get the advice from the ancestors there guys what's the advice from a beautiful collective time to go on a new journey that's it that's the advice go on a new journey towards this ten of pentacles towards this happily ever after towards this legacy start reflecting see the things and the people who are trying to cause so much drama start so much shit when it comes to your clean flame energy or your soul ascension and start dancing with inspiration start being the inspiration for yourself and others i'm telling you when you start healing the person who you're supposed to be with heals as well okay whether you know them or not it's an energetic connection in the ethers it's time to inspire the world 
Tap into that memory that you are a star seed and star seeds are healers. We're brought here on this earth to heal. And this is what we're doing. We're showing people how to open up that memory. We've been here. We've done this time and time again. No time to make the same mistakes over and over and over. Now we time to grow up. Now, now we time. Now it's time to see. Instead of projecting, we're doing the reflecting so that we can inspire on this new journey. You got an engagement here in children. Now, didn't I say <coughs> that I seen somebody in that Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles with the children? Somebody wants to have a higher level commitment with you. Okay, it says your life level, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Children, your love life is being affected by children. So, icebreaker, children. If the children get along, that helps. Icebreaker. It's always the children because the children are the next generation. So, if they treat their children right, they're going to treat you right. This wifey is going to accept your children. This, per, this masculine is going to accept your children. It will be a blended family if this is the case. There's loyalty here. It's a one in a million kind of energy, okay? Irreplaceable. Anything else for you guys? The love of Oracle message. Anything else? Thank you. So, unrequited love, yeah, somebody's seeing that there was unrequited love. So you could have given, 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 been this wifey, and somebody clearly was just a player, like they didn't want that. But very soon, it's time to flirt, okay, because you got no opportunities here, you got something incredible coming in. It says, clearly decide what you want so that you, it comes in now, and extend your lighthearted energy to others. So no matter what the turmoil is underneath this of people trying to block you, you still got shit coming in. So let's find out exactly what, what it is. Dear guys, let's give them some more clarity for it today, okay? I hope this resonated and I hope it helped you. Na worship nature. It's time to go in nature. It's time to really see that you are the gift. Calm your mind. Remember, the fruit is the last thing to bear on a tree. Third guide, show me what's going on here. Yeah, somebody's spying on you with technology and children. So they do want to have a child with you or they are... Ha yes. Um, there's a lot of healing of the inner child, a maritimer. Somebody wants to go with the flow and communicate a situation. They are spying on you. But there's this sexual assault here. Somebody feels like... These bystanders have been predators towards you, have projected, portrayed you to be some kind of, they victimized you, they assaulted you, the things that they said about, oh my god, the things I'm hearing, fuck, yeah, look, and it was all because of charity, they knew who you were, they didn't want some, they didn't want you to give to somebody, you need to use your intuition about these lies and about how somebody was keeping you in these childhood issues and trauma and abuse and really they were abandoning you and orphaning you and even if they were in your face and being with you, it's just the abuse was so bad that, and this could be friends, this could be somebody you've been best friends with forever. You need to take a new leap of faith because this person is at war with themselves right now and you need to understand that that has nothing to do with you. They just didn't want you to give anybody or receive anything. It's, it's a shame, but you got a brand new start and you're burning everything down. Somebody's having a major catastrophe. Yeah, their house is on fire for the choices they made for this magic chose choosing to do. Because they treated you like a fucking animal. And you were the accomplishment. You were the gift. You were the celebrity. There was a lot of fucking competition and people didn't understand that you were only competing with the person in the mirror yourself. And that's why everybody was losing whoever tried to compete with you. The extraterrestrial seen it. The spirit guide seen it. You have the divine bodyguard. You are protected wherever you go because you know how to tame people with love. 
in love alone. And a lot of people don't know what that real love is. This is why you need to have forgiveness for this devil codependent energy is because somebody is cursed. Somebody has cursed themselves. Somebody feels haunted because of the dark energy work and the secret society, the things that they the things that they put in the dark, guys. This is why it's time to pay it forward. Somebody was instructed to do this. And now they're fucking possessed. Because of the brainwashing, they tried to brainwash somebody uh, to not see you, to be over-sexual. And, yo, your confidence has just fucking really just was like, mm -mm, they're not having it. Somebody has seen the truth because your confidence is well, like, how though? Is that real though? No, so you're going on a new journey and healing the fucking truth, healing from everything and seeing the truth. Spirit, let's see what the... Hidden messages, it says, you speak to me through music. So somebody's speaking to you through music or you're speaking to them through music. Okay, so if you're in the car, listen, maybe there's like a, a message in the song or something, okay? It says, I want you to, I want to feel the way, that way again. And I'm grateful for the spiritual lessons. And I don't know, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. So like I said, an emperor is only with an empress and uh, illusions cause somebody to walk away or you to walk away from this commitment. Now somebody's tapping into this memory and they want you to know that it was really hard for them to let you go or you're saying it was hard for you to let them go. But you're hearing through music something, there's some kind of telepathic communication going on here. And they want to feel the way that you made them feel or you want to feel the way that they made you feel. Or this new person's gonna make you feel like there's some kind of energetic pull here, some kind of dualities of light and dark. Even if you don't know them, you feel them for some. There's some kind of magnetic attraction here. And it says, I'm grateful for the spiritual lessons. Remember, opposites attract to learn a lesson. So I know exactly what I was doing. Somebody knew exactly what they were doing, but they thought that you weren't gonna know it. <laughs> I thought you were dumb or something. Let's get a healing message from the plant world. Somebody thought that you weren't going to see what you were doing, that this magic was going to stay that way forever, and look what comes out. It's the bleeding heart. Somebody's got a bleeding heart now because they see the truth as to why they were over-sexual, to why they were so mean or whatever this is, guys. Somebody is seeing the truth, and their heart is bleeding for you. Because they can't come towards you until they clear that path. Bleeding heart helps us transform romantic love into unconditional love. It also transforms deep sadness related to loss in relationship. Bleeding heart helps us to realize that we are loved. We are loved, guys. It's just people are so toxic. They don't want you to love or to be loved. What? Your star bathing, my light worker, star seed, indigo children, light bodies, crystal grid, transmission and activation. Once you go into solitude, you get that energy back of your own mind. No longer listening to what everybody else thinks. You will hear that transmission. You will get that activation and you will be guided and led towards what is right towards you because the path will be clear. You won't feel stagnant. It will be easy. It says push through you any insecurities. It'll be easy. You, somebody just needs to push through their insecurities is what it comes down to. Okay? Because it's an ideal time to plant that Garden of Eden. Now I have the garden uh, from... What's her name? Um, Dua Lupe in my head. So, you might want to check out those lyrics, okay? Somebody sees you as this butterfly, but you're the owl as well, So, and it's behind you, so you have so much protection. There's paradise here. You can make this heaven on earth, this paradise on earth, but you have to keep pushing through your insecurities, guys. And like I said, this is why a lot of people are, you know, not so, not so liking to me because I do make heaven on earth for myself, even if I'm only by myself, because... It's my life. Number 18 reduces down to a 9. So there has to be an ending here. You have to end something in order to make that peace on earth, guys. Because mental... 
mental health as well. Okay? Psychic development and learning. No, it's 18, sorry. Yeah, but it was just done for nine. The princess's dream. Nurturing, rebirth, and new opportunities. You sometimes feel that life is passing you by. As you look around, you see others appearing to be moving forward and achieving their dreams, but you feel stuck in a rut. Bats are often referred to guardians of the night. This card res represents symbols that remind you that you are being looked after and cared for, even if you feel alone. Bats represent rebirths and suggest that you are about to start a new phase in your life. The opportunities around you are abundant. If you are not able to see this now, then you need to look harder. Opportunities may not be coming knocking at your door. Rather, you will have to knock on it. You have plenty of stability behind you and therefore any risks you take now are minimal. This could be a very influential time in your life, so embrace it. Wonderful things are on the horizon. It's time to take that new leap of faith, guys. You got this, but you're going to have to be courageous because that's probably what's blocking this emperor from coming in is their insecurities because of your accomplishments. But there's no competition. So guys, I hope this resonated. I hope it helped. Let me get a last closing message from Natasha T. If, like I said, you guys want, look, Spirit says they have your back. If you want a more personal reading, as these are Timeless General and Collective, I'll put my information at the bottom, okay? Spirit has your back. You are protected no matter what. So remember that. Last closing message, Spirit guides. It says you, can, you can't move forward carrying the past with you. It's time to let it go. It's time to let go of the past. Spirit has your back no matter what. It says regret is a form of punishment in itself. Somebody is regretting. So it's time to move on. Let go and move on is what it's saying. Stay grounded. Take a spiritual breath and rest from the day. Somebody needs to rest from the day because you're an earth angel. You're a star seed. You're a leg one. So yes, it does it. You know, we go to a little bit more of a hard time here. But you know why? So we got the warrior heart. We can do this. And we can show others. Be the light for them in their dark tunnel. Light that bitch up for them. So they can have the courage. And the confidence. So let go of these insecurities. And be the brave soldier and warrior that they really are. The warrior earth angel. Hmm? I love you guys. Stay blessed. And thank yous for all the likes, comments, subscriptions. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as you're coming. Uh, as you're leaving. I love you guys. Stay blessed. One love. I'm sending you all so much love, support, and protection. And thank you guys for watching my um, lives yesterday. And if you haven't, go check them out. Um, I did a live from the Ferris wheel yesterday. It was pretty, pretty dope. It only lasted a couple minutes because my phone died. But it was pretty, pretty epic. So you get a little bit of a view if you want to go check that out. Okay, guys? So time to understand that the sky is not the limit. We just have to eliminate things that drag us or keep us down so that this way we can reach the heights that we want to go. I love you guys. Stay blessed and have a beautiful, beautiful day and a beautiful weekend. <laughs> Bye.